Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And it's Deb C and the place to be. It's Deb C. Bloop, that's me. Boop. Deb C. Okay. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's Thursday. That means tomorrow's Friday, and that means next week I am off for my vacation. Staycation. So you're asking, where am I going? What fantastic locale am I going to? Don't worry here. I'm just staying here. <laughs> it's a staycation. I'm going to Sofa Town. So I thought today that I would, in the spirit of Christmas, embrace some of my favorite Christmas songs. So I'm going to be going over my top, let's say, I was gonna say five, but let's say top 10 favorite Christmas songs or Christmas carols. Before I do that, a couple things. I need to, first of all, I need to show you this. Now look, I'm just gonna do it like this because I don't wanna stand up. So here we go. Look, look. Woo! Have a holly dolly Christmas. So if you saw it, great. If you didn't, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna stand up because my pants don't match my because I don't have pants on. No, I do. Um, I have them on my pajama pants and they don't match. And also I'm fat, so I don't need for you all to see that. So here it is, Miss Dolly herself. Have a holly dolly Christmas. I got this off of Etsy. I supported small business and the name of the um, shop is called, I believe it's called Hello Hartman. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it in the comments the name of the Etsy shop. I, I do enjoy, I do really enjoy supporting small business when I can. I got myself one. I got myself a sweatshirt. I, it's nice and big in the sleeves, so I like that. And I got, um, I got mom one too. I got a um, dolly one as well. So we have matching dolly, holly dolly sweatshirts. Speaking of dolly, she made another cookie and she made thumbprints, but these thumbprints are a little bit bigger and they have cherry pie filling in it. So here we go. Well, cherry thumbprint. And I have to tell you, I have already tasted them, a few of them. And she wanted me to show you. She said, could you please show these on your show? So I said, okay. She's actually at church tonight because I guess she says it's um, National Obligation Day or something. I don't know. So here we go. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Hi, baby Jackie. Jack's right over there. Mmm. The cookie itself is nice and light. And then you get that filling. And nice and bright. That's so good. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's count down my 10 favorite Christmas songs. Okay, so I'm going to go with at number at number 10. I'm going to start off with underneath the Christmas tree. That's not how it goes. It's underneath the tree by Kelly Clarkson. And it's peppy. And I love Kelly Clarkson and and I cannot for the life of me now that I'm saying it wrong. I cannot even remember how it goes. Don't mean a thing if you ain't holding me tight. I all that I need. That song. So I love Kelly Clarkson and I like that Peppy song. You will find very quickly that a lot of my songs on this list are peppy songs. I like a peppy, energetic, pick me up of a song. That leads me into the next song, which is absolutely nowhere near peppy. And that is Do They Know It's Christmas by Band Aid. This was from the 80s. This was put together by um, Bob Geldof of the Boomtown Rats and I believe Midge Er. This was like every single English band that was recording at the time. Now listen, I had a lot of my favorites, but I had my big favorite and that was Duran Duran. Oh, seriously. 
And listen, I know it's not a song that inspires, you know, like, like cuddly feelings. However, it was a song that was needed because it raised, it raised a bit of money for um, famine relief in Africa, along with the live aid shows. And it's a great, it's a great song. I mean, it, it inspires you to want to do more because you look and you see everything that you have and then you look and you see what they don't have and you're like, wait a minute, I got a lot to be thankful for. I need to, I need help these people. So I, I like it for that reason. And I, and it did have at the time, it had a lot of my favorite singers slash bands because at the time I was very big into the English music scene. So number nine is, do they know it's Christmas? Okay. Number eight is Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday by NSYNC. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Now listen, don't come for me Backstreet Boys fans. Backstreet Boys are good. Backstreet Boys are great. But listen, if we're talking Battle of the Boy Bands in like the 90s, I'm an NSYNC girl, sorry. I always have been and I always will be. Who was my favorite? That was Justin. Who was my second favorite? Joey Fatone. I still like Joey Fatone. Once again, I like Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays because it's, it's peppy. It gets me going, gets me moving. Okay, next I'm going to go with a favorite from way, 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 way back. And that is Sleigh Ride by the Ronettes. ding a ling a ling a ling dong ding ding a ling a ling a ling dong ding Just hear those sleigh bells ring a ching 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 ling to That song. <laughs> Come on, it's lovely weather for sleigh rides together with you. That song. So I like it. Once again, an old Motown girl band gets together and they jam it. And I enjoy it. Next up, we have, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Um, is it by Bing Crosby? It might be. I enjoy that song because once again, to me, that song kind of like, that song, even before Mariah Carey, kicked the Christmas season off for me. Um, there was a time when I did not like it, because when I worked retail, right out of college, I worked at Bonton. Bonton was this store that was like an apparel store. Kind of like, it was kind of like Macy's, but not high class, not as high class as, as Macy's. Um, I believe all the Bontons are maybe out of business. They probably are. And the one that I worked at is now a casino. So this is one of the songs that they played um, constantly. And for a time, and for a time, I did not like this song. For a time, I hated it. But I kind of like it. To me, it kind of signals like, it kind of signals the start of the, the start of the Christmas season. And it gets me, it gets me excited. It gets me pumped up. Okay, next one is Feliz Navidad. Do, 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 do. Feliz Navidad. Do, do, do. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. That song, once again, it just makes me happy. Out of all of the songs on this list, that is probably the song that when I hear it, it makes me the happiest. It's a song that can just lift me out of any crummy mood that I'm in. Um, next, we're gonna go with Last Christmas by Wham! Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. That song. Listen, there's not too much that you would, there's never a reason. Listen, I get it. Is heartbreak really something that you should use in a, in a Christmas song? Probably not. But George Michael, especially when he says, Merry Christmas. I'm a up and sent it when he says Merry Christmas. 
come on. How are you going to get a sexy, how are you going to get a little sexy sexiness in some Christmas songs? I like Now it. listen, should everybody cover it? No, everybody should not cover it. Um, I enjoy Taylor Swift's version, but that's about the only one. And coming in at number one, for my favorite Christmas carol or song of all time is This Christmas by Donny Hathaway. This Christmas fireside is blazing bright. We're caroling through the night. And this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me. Do, 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 do. Shake a hand, shake a hand. Now listen, I did an extended version of that. It was terrible. I apologize if ears were bleeding, but listen, I like that because it's a nice smooth jam, but once again, not everybody can sing that because one time when I was in my car and I was listening to the Christmas carols, Gloria Stefan's version popped up. She did not say, shake a hand, shake a hand. I did not like that. I immediately turned it. Come on, Gloria Stefan, shake a hand, shake a hand is part of it. So that is my list of my, I hope that was 10. I think it was 10. Wait a minute, hold on. I missed one on my list in there. I missed one and this is one of my favorite ones too because it's Do You Hear What I Hear? And I'm gonna tell you why this is one of my favorite. Because my baby girl, Maisie Jane, she, she was the, oh, she is still the love of my life. She is, she is just my soulmate, my little baby girl, Maisie Jane, our little chihuahua mix that we had. She was just, the, she was a sweet little girl and she had white with, car, with caramel, with caramel like, coloring and she looked we always said she looked like a little lamb when she would just sit there all nice she looked like she looked like a little lamb so I always liked that song just because they mentioned the little lamb and I can just picture Maisie just sitting there and Maisie's no longer with us but every time I hear that song I think of my little baby girl so those are those are the favorite Christmas songs, um, honorable mentions. I would have to say, I'm listen. People are probably like, "Where's Mariah?" I'm gonna say Mariah is an honorable mention. Um, Christmas songs that I cannot listen to. Listen, the one about the shoes. I can't even. I don't even know the name of it. Except maybe it's called Christmas Shoes, but I can't listen to it because it's such a sad. It's a, it's a really nice song, but it's so sad. It's, if you have not heard, heard of it, he's trying, the little boy's trying to buy his mom, his mom some shoes because she's dying. Oh, it's so sad. Also, um, Mary, do you know, it's a beautiful song. I don't know. For some reason, it just, it just makes me cry so much. I know. I know. It's about Jesus and everything, but I don't know. It, it just, it just, it just brings a tear to my eye. Um, Christmas songs that I don't like for another reason, um, the, because they kind of, the first one skeeves me out a little bit and that's baby. It's cold outside. Listen, I, I was not one of the people that listen, I really don't need for it to be canceled. Like if you want to play it, that's fine. Go ahead and play it. I just don't like it. Cause I always thought it was weird. Like I always thought it was kind of creepy. I don't know, it's always like an older guy that's singing to a younger girl and they're putting something in the drink. I'm like, I always thought it was, it kind of creeped me out a little bit. I mean, I'm not gonna cancel it. If you wanna play it, go ahead and play it. That's cool, I just won't listen to it, I don't know. Um, and the other one is Santa Baby. I've never liked Santa Baby, just because I'm like, wait a minute. I think it's because I pay attention to lyrics too much. And when she's like, please give me a yacht, and a car, and a ring, and a house, and this, and that, and money. And I'm like, bitch, who are you? No, I don't like, I don't like that. Like, like, listen, ask can bring you one thing. You want a house? You want a boat? You want a yacht? You want a ring? You want all this and that? No, no, no. 
mm -mm, I don't like that. You're greedy. So I <laughs> hope everybody enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite Christmas song and also what's your least favorite Christmas song. And I think tomorrow we're going to do favorite Christmas movies. So try and think which one is my favorite. Try and think which one's your favorite. So everybody, if I have not told you yet today, which I have not, I love you. You're loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you, that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there, especially acceptance and kindness and love. And I love you guys. Have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow. And tomorrow will only be, tomorrow will be the end. Okay, me and Dolly say, Bye guys, love you.